Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Estonian Business School's uh, brief seminar on gamification and simulations uh, used in uh, study process. My name is Ante Livet. I am head of bachelor programs in Estonian Business School and I kindly hope you are going to find something valuable, something encouraging and maybe also some new point of views uh, for yourself while thinking on uh, how you could uh, learn the best and uh, pursue your desired dreams in business or entrepreneurship. There are two of my colleagues uh, together with me uh, here uh, today, um, Marges Assi, who's a leadership lecturer, and Amanda Tominen, who's uh, soon to become a graduate of Estonian Business School, also a recent graduate of uh, the course I deliver, uh, the business simulation game uh, Tainama. So we uh, are sharing with you some insights. Uh, we reflect uh, upon our experience and uh, pretty much off we go. So Amanda, please. Yes, uh, welcome everyone. And um, so here is Anto and Marge, uh, both of who have been my lecturers. And uh, very recently I participated in Anto's course, uh, gamification, uh, this Dynama game. So it was mostly about uh, making uh, managerial decisions and um, really learning by doing. And in fact, 70% uh, of our students are working uh, while studying according to our recent survey so that is really really high amount uh, in comparison with other universities in Finland and in, in Estonia. So it's really interesting topic and maybe uh, Ante could share some insights a little bit about what gamification is about. Well simulations is uh, one uh, tool or a method of uh, gamification but uh, more or less uh, gamification, as I understand that, uh, is a combination of uh, enabling students uh, to really feel uh, the autonomy. So it's often up to them to decide what and how and when to learn. Secondly, it's about mastery. It's about uh, constant feedback and, and also making those feedback loops uh, uh, shorter so uh, you can uh, test out different things you see the outcome and uh, we help uh, you to reflect upon uh, the outcomes and thirdly it's uh, still the purposeful uh, um, process uh, which uh, aims to help uh, you uh, getting better and, and, and meeting your uh, intended learning outcomes uh, more efficiently but Maria, your uh, simulation is about leadership. Uh, can you really simulate leadership? <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, great question. Before answering this, I would like to take the role of the bad cop, as you were so v overwhelmingly positive about the impact of, of simulations. But I would also like to bring in one more aspect, which is that you can also fail safely when playing the simulation games. So it is not just about uh, feeling encouraged, but one very important learning moment is also to fail in a safe environment and learn from this. And nobody knows it. You fail, only you know it. You keep it, I don't know, in, in a diary, in your head, and you make the corrections in the real life. But uh, coming back to your question, if it's possible to simulate a leadership uh, well, uh, what, is, what is simulation as such? and I'm not speaking about the simulation game, but simulating as such is kind of a taking the role or, or pretending to be somebody you are not. So, of course, it's possible also for a business student to play the role of a CEO, as in, uh, in the game that I use, a uh, game developed uh, mm, uh, by, uh, based on uh, Professor Mihai's, Chicks and Mihai's uh, flow theory called Fligby. And uh, in this game, sure, because students take uh, nearly 150 decisions. They are taking the role of leading the company. They are responsible for the well-being uh, of uh, eight staff members. They are responsible for earning profit, for motivating their staff. 
So no doubt in that, yes, it is possible to, to learn business skills and leadership skills and also HR skills through a game, especially when you use Flippy. Yeah, and I can uh, really much relate to that. Uh, I feel like I made so many mistakes in this game in Dynama. So it was really like doing mistake, mistake, mistake. And then you learn like, OK, why did I make this mistake? And it's better to do it in the simulation rather than at your first yeah. uh, job. So it's really good to get that experience and that practical knowledge that you can really use at your work later. Well, yeah, you were uh, in charge of a company uh, with annual revenue around 100 million uh, <laughs> euros. If you were playing your own money, uh, the risks uh, were much higher, right? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> but so then you were able to try out things you normally never would in real life. <laughs> yes, exactly. And uh, we, there was many times that our net profit was going below zero, <laughs> which I wouldn't have been probably fine if it was my real company. But in this simulation, it was... It was a good experience to see that. But we have also this Onlandbör uh, wheel here. Right? Yes. <laughs> uh, so we decided to have some kind of game elements also in our interview, so that we haven't prepared this fully for you, but it happens here uh, at this very moment. Therefore, the wheel is leading uh, our interview as the wheel is telling us uh, which question we should target now. Yeah, so uh, let's spin the wheel for the first time. What a tension. Yes. They really <laughs> don't know what's <laughs> going to happen. Yeah. Okay, so value of gamifi gamification in the study process. Mm -hmm. Who would like to start? Well, what was the value for you? Um, I probably asked uh, quite similar questions after uh, um, your course uh, when you reflected upon the whole uh, journey or lifespan of your company. So what was the value for you? I think it was really like learning by doing and uh, uh, trying some different things also while doing managerial decisions. I usually uh, would not be the one valuing the uh, value of my company, for example. So counting uh, that all out and uh, uh, how would we like to expand our company and business. So it was really, really kind of different type of learning points that I would usually get during a lecture. Mm -hmm. Well, I think first of all, uh, when also taking part in simulations, uh, myself competing usually against our teams, uh, it's been always fun. And uh, I sincerely believe that uh, learning has to be fun, because if learning is fun, it's also more efficient and uh, effective in uh, very most of cases. Uh, uh, second of all, it's uh, uh, quite lifelike. Uh, pretty much all the simulations try to create an environment uh, which uh, is as close as possible to the real life challenges what uh, companies or people are uh, facing in the business uh, world. And uh, if it's lifelike, it also enables uh, our students to test out uh, what it takes uh, to be a CEO or a board member of rather bigger company because at the beginning of our, our careers we usually uh, um, start um, as a specialist, as a first line manager. But um, in, in, in Dynama case it enables uh, students to uh, become a top dog and, and, and really uh, try out uh, uh, how things look like when you really need to combine different managerial functions uh, to each other. And still, most of the courses in business schools and universities are quite disciplinary. So you're focusing either on management, marketing, law uh, or something um, uh, else. And um, third of all, I believe it's uh, it's also more engaging uh, to students and it, it also creates an environment where they can learn better from uh, each other, um, maybe even more than from, uh, from um, some teamwork exercises or, uh, or just like uh, reading uh, scientific articles together. Yes, it makes sense to take it over from here, from here because uh, the game you are teaching, the simulation you are teaching, is based on team's effort. 
Clickby uh, is really individual and as a result, additionally to a wide range of leadership skills, the students are able to learn more about themselves. Um, first indication on how well you are doing is an instant feedback that takes place after each scene completed and the student can already understand at this, uh, this very moment when he or she is ready to take the critique and is ready to analyse the feedback, what went wrong, what needs to be improved in forthcoming scenes. Nevertheless, by the end of the game, the student uh, gets very detailed feedback on 29 leadership skills. So I would say, most of all, additionally to the academic curriculum, which now can be used in a practical way. Uh, and the pre uh, kind of requisite is that the student has taken some management courses before and in my game it's okay okay I, I can't call it in my game come on uh, I'm, I'm sorry I'm just a big fan of it there is that's the reason why I call it my game it's Fliggy uh, and I am just using it as a tool and uh, nevertheless it has yeah I feel it's mine because I, I just love it. Okay, uh, but, but my point was that uh, as a result of the game, uh, students can understand how well different leadership skills have been developed. And using this tool, you can play it again and again and again. And for instance, after playing it once the, with intuition and based on your previous knowledge, after some break, you can read more or you can, for instance, have a different goal, different purpose, or focus intentionally on developing these skills that lagged behind when you played it for the first time. So you already, during playing the second time, you already jump, make a jump as you intentionally develop some of the skills. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's uh, move on to the second one. So let's spin the wheel again. Hmm. Biggest surprise when using simulations. Um, maybe I can start again. Um, for me, I feel like it was that how much it really takes to make these managerial decisions, how much you have to analyze the previous uh, data that you have in order to make the next one. I think in the beginning of the game, we were really much uh, doing it by like mm -hmm. initi uh, mm -hmm. in initiative. Uh, so like the first thought, just taking some go, uh, go and seeing what happens. But then later you realize that, okay, I really have to look at this, this and this and this and this to really get to the uh, goal where we were trying to get to. So it, there was much more complexity than you expecting. Uh, definitely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, well, the good news is uh, that real life is even more complex and there's uh, even bigger entropy because every kind of simulation is always a modal, modal is simplification, uh, but it uh, enables um, in most of cases to bring out what is really important and then to, to focus on what, uh, what matters. And for me, the biggest surprise uh, or kind of discovery of myself um, has been the fact that uh, um, I'm more and more kind of using this uh, Tainama way of thinking and the concepts I uh, discuss with students myself when working with the companies, uh, um, providing advice, uh, coaching them, uh, um, providing consultancy and uh, I have a bit uh, older and more experienced colleague uh, we're running the game together with uh, and he says that um, even in his uh, 70s he very much uses uh, the same time and type of thinking and it has enabled him to succeed uh, with many other projects outside of this uh, simulation and classroom. Okay, I had no time to think, uh, but uh, time was not enough to pick the favourite because I have uh, two surprises that are constantly 
even after three years teaching uh, this simulation game, I'm still surprised. And uh, the first kind of uh, well-evidenced uh, surprise is that students play it voluntarily second, third and fourth time. So it constantly happens uh, and uh, they will not be graded for this, but they just uh, like the game and they just want to improve and they want to be kind of, a, they want to witness their own development, uh, which is a pleasure as a, as a lecturer. And, uh, and second, uh, second surprise um, is how analytical uh, the students, students are, because uh, in case you don't care, uh, you are most probably, you don't go deep enough. But, uh, but in the self-reflection diaries that uh, students submit after playing the game, you can feel, you can sense and of course read uh, that uh, they take it so seriously. They understand also what's the next step. And the next step is not waiting for the final grade. The next step is what kind of uh, additional subjects should I take? What kind of books should I read? What kind of TED talks should I watch to have this uh, next, to, to move to the next level? Because this game indicates where I'm now. And it also kind of opens up your chakras to understand uh, where you actually want to move. Okay. Completely <laughs> agree, yes. Uh, so let's spin again. Three more to go. Key learnings from simulations. Uh, I heard that Anta, you have also been taking some courses before. So what do you remember of those times? What were the key learnings? Well, the first time was uh, definitely challenging. And uh, I absolutely agree about uh, complexity. But then um, this, this kind of uh, key element uh, for all the simulations and also for most of the management challenges uh, is that you have to be able to model things, you have to create kind of uh, concept, you need to do some scenario planning. So you, after all, have to simplify uh, things for yourself in order to understand uh, uh, the essence or uh, the crux of uh, phenomenon. So those key learnings uh, for a dynamic game um, are probably uh, company life circle or lifespan, uh, how to do positioning, comparing different uh, products uh, launched uh, to the market, uh, how to keep an eye on competitors, uh, how to create uh, the tools um, what enable you to uh, forecast different scenarios and your uh, um, revenues and profits uh, for the future uh, periods. Pretty much all the things what you need to do as, uh, as a board member in, uh, in a bigger size uh, company. For me, uh, the two most important learning moments have been the need for balance uh, and clear goal setting. And uh, by that, I mean, first of all, it's not enough to read tons of books, it's not enough uh, to be born leader. You, you have to find a way how to balance it because they, uh, they support each other. And, and also as a student, uh, in case you have tons of uh, homeworks waiting for you and not having enough time, you have to prioritize. And as, as a clear goal setting, this is also something that I uh, have kind of a re rethought as a lecturer. What is it that I want to achieve with each lecture? What is it that I want to achieve with each uh, course? And this is also something that I have emphasized to the students, that whenever you take an action, it is just not going with the flow. Uh, this is also a good, uh, good approach, but nevertheless, you always need to know why do you do it and it guides your way. It is not just that I am over systematic or over strategic. In, in hard times, being focused and knowing your purpose helps you out. So I guess this is what the game has taught me. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, also like uh, this prioritizing uh, 
when you're working with a team to reach these goals, even if uh, one person didn't have enough time this week to contribute, then it would show in the results that, okay, this part wasn't really done so well this week. Mm -hmm. So you could really see that uh, how important the value of teamwork is mm -hmm. there. And uh, also that the competition is like really actually tough already at school that uh, if you didn't do so well, it would show in the results. So you really have to do a lot of work to thrive in the game. And your peers know who's the loser this <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's it true. probably creates and hopefully creates a positive kind of motivation to, uh, to try harder. Yeah, I think uh, at least for us it did that in the beginning, uh, it wasn't so clear what everyone's going to do, but in the end we were really like pushing it together. Mm -hmm. So it was really nice to see that change. Yes, growth uh, throughout the game. Yes. It's a kind of a mental and mindset growth. Mm -hmm. All right. So spin time. Yes. Wheel time. I guess this is something mm. that you two can really mm -hmm. elaborate. Briefly, because we've been quite uh, much talking about those uh, ones we, uh, we use. Uh, in our bachelor programs, we use uh, management simulation uh, game Dynama and then leadership simulation game uh, uh, Fligby. Uh, so we try to combine both the so-called soft side and, uh, and, and the hard side of And uh, teamwork of and individual. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but may I ask briefly about FlickPy? What is this flow theory actually? Mm -hmm. What, uh, what, mm -hmm. what this uh, simulation is based on? Mm -hmm. uh, Hungarian American professor Mihai Csikszent Mihai has developed based on positive psychology a flow theory. Uh, I'm not going too much into details, uh, but to sum it up uh, shortly, the most important or the core concept is that when your staff members feel good when you have a great team dynamics in your organization, it is not just that people are more motivated, but as a, as a like follow up from being individually motivated and being as a team motivated, it also results in a, in a better business results. So basically uh, paying attention to well-being of each individual motivation, you actually contribute into the success of your company and, and excellency. And this is something that the students can experience and, and see how it works. Because um, one, uh, okay, I don't want to say wrong decision, but let's say not the best, situ uh, I mean not the best uh, decision does affect not just the one single person uh, that you were kind of interacting. It may have a long-term impact on the whole team and on the whole company. So therefore, to think wisely mm, and also perhaps something uh, that uh, is definitely an issue in Estonia, I'm not so sure about Finland, but definitely in Estonia, is also feedback giving and feedback receiving. So we kind of think that when a person is doing well, it's self-evident. Well, he or she should feel it. I smiled, I said thank you. That's it. But is it, is it actually enough? Because we all have our weak moments. We all need to feel that we are appreciated. And if this is not done in an in a instant way, in an encouraging way, um, we may actually suffer because just lack of, uh, lack of communication and lack of feedback. And, uh, and this is essential as we are social human beings and, and we need this. So I would say that even though there are more important elements and core concepts. Uh, in a student context, I would emphasize this uh, feedback giving. And I've also asked from my students, how often do they uh, receive feedback uh, from their own bosses, these students who work? And it has been said that even though on paper, uh, it's, it has to have, uh, has to take place regularly, performance uh, appraisals, nevertheless is sometimes not uh, taking place. Or oh, what I would say is even worse, is that it's very formal. So therefore, this kind of a face-to-face, uh, heart-to-heart -face, -heart feedback makes a change. May I emphasize that both of those simulations are research-based, so mm -hmm. it's not uh, just imaginary world. Uh, um, one of the key concepts in Dynamo is diffusion of innovations and different research uh, um, 
related to uh, to this uh, this concept. Uh, with re relatively limited time left, so yes. probably we should turn the wheel yes. last time. <laughs> last time, so <laughs> what shall we recover from that? <laughs> Looks like a CD. Mm. So the lifelikeliness of business simulations. Mm, from my personal side, that I can say that in the beginning I felt like like that the game couldn't be a presentation of like reality. And of course, it's not in a way that it can't um, include all the aspects that's happening around us. But um, still, in the end, the uh, further the game got, I felt like, like when you start to understand the concepts better, you really see that, OK, like this is the hard concept of kind of like making the decisions. And there will be ex externally happening other stuff as well. but. Um, in that sense, it was pretty, pretty good reflection of the reality. I would say. I've tried this dynamo with the <coughs> executive uh, uh, managers as well as with the bachelor students, and I feel that, especially for bachelor students who have relatively limited business experience in most cases, uh, uh, we need to explain uh, more. We need to bring some different examples from the business world how uh, specific things can be related to the management game, but. Uh, the more experience uh, participants have, the more they are able to bring their own cases to the classroom and uh, offer them uh, for the, as a basis for uh, discussions. Mm -hmm. I would say it's worse <laughs> and definitely <laughs> more challenging. And I have to say that we always have uh, virtual chats with students after they have played 10 scenes and half of them are shocked, asking, is it really that challenging in real life? And, uh, and most probably why it's harder uh, than uh, real life might be uh, is because, uh, mm, first of all, um, it's built in that uh, training has to be more challenging than the real battle, right? <laughs> and uh, and the uh, other aspect is that uh, uh, to use a game as a, as a learning tool, it has to have some kind of extremes and in a way kind of uh, black and white patterns and therefore sometimes uh, young students are really shocked that oh the people so cool is it so much tensions in there and i said <laughs> it's even yes yes <laughs> yes it is but you you you, you can cope it when you are uh, well aware so i would say that uh, this kind of a shock a good shock uh, also works as a motivation to learn more uh, to try harder and as a result uh, in, in case you are not the winner of the game, to be the winner of, of life, to be winner of your own career. Yes. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> Marga and Amanda, uh, for uh, making this, this effort. Uh, dear guests, wherever you are in this virtual uh, room, thank you so much for uh, joining us uh, today. Uh, if we were able to catch your attention or uh, maybe even uh, uh, encourage your cu curiosity about the Estonian Business School, uh, then feel free to uh, contact us and uh, we always welcome you to uh, join our team and our student uh, body in one of the most innovative uh, business schools in one of the most entrepreneurial countries uh, in the world. Thank you so much, and uh, we hope to meet again soon. By the way, there might be some questions. Is this an issue? Can it be that there are some questions? No? OK. <laughs> OK. Thanks. Then Not. Okay, you great. guys have a really good day, and uh, feel free to contact already in the platform, in the chat. Mm -hmm. So we will be there waiting for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.